Hi, my name is Ron Cochran, and I am the Director of Communications in the City of Malden with Mayor Christensen's office. Today we're going to do this little informational video about how to properly remove snow after a storm. Uh, as some may or may not know, we do have an ordinance in the city that requires snow removal within 24 hours after uh, snowfall. So when the snow stops, the clock starts ticking. 24 hours and you do have to have snow properly removed off of not only your property but more importantly out in front of your property and, and today we're going to focus on the sidewalk and also a space to put your trash barrels. Um, where we're going to start here is uh, clearing this path right here. The ordinance states that it has to be three feet wide. You know we don't want you out here with a tape measure so probably the best thing to do is three feet with your feet or probably the easier way is just two standard shovel widths. So we're going to dig in here and get this, uh, get this snow cleared out. So we're going to get our proper motion, getting our legs down, get a good grip on the shovel, shovel it full, and then we're going to, no, we're not going to throw it out into the street. Why? Because that's also against ordinance too. Uh, and it's not just because we like to make a law that says you can't do something. There is good purpose behind it. You throw that snow out in the street, our DPW plows are done with their plowing operation. You know, that snow is going to go out, it's going to get compacted, and it's going to be a hazard to drivers uh, or any, anybody that's walking in the street or, or anybody for that matter. So, snow on your own property. Let's get this cleared. No, it's getting low. Making sure I'm not lifting with my back. And I'm clearing. And I'm really trying my best to get down to the pavement here because, you know, if you leave anything there, get a couple of days of cold weather, and that stuff will be compacted to the, to the ground. I mean, the best way I could describe it is you burn a lasagna or some kind of food stuck to the bottom of the pan. That's what this will be in about three days from now. So it's good to get as close to the pavement as possible. And then it's good also if you can do it in the morning because then the sun of the midday will probably do the rest of the work for you. So we're going to, as I said, we're going to do about two shovelfuls or shovel widths to get ourselves our three feet. Again, putting it on my own property here. Right now, I, th I think I do have the three feet, but I am going to go one more shovel width. Just knowing that future snowstorms could compact the snow in more, push it out. It's good to have a clear path. It's be easy work uh, later on when the heavy stuff comes. Okay, and of course we'll get rid of this powdery stuff too. So let's really get in and uh, get the rest of this stuff. Again, we want to see as much pavement as possible. Get this all clear. This looks like a pretty good path right here. I'm comfortable with this. You know, it's probably a good chance to talk about why do we want to clean our sidewalks. Well, it's not just for us. You know, there's other people that need to get by our sidewalks. Malden is a uh, is a town that, or a city that has a lot of folks that either walk to the bus, walk to work, walk to where they're going to go, and a straight path all the way up and down is really something we're after to help all our residents. So when you clear off in front of your path, you're helping all the residents of Malden. Not to mention uh, first responders that might need to get into your house, or uh, mail uh, letter carriers, or anybody that has any need to service in and around your house. So it's really important uh, to do this, to make sure that you're responsible and you get your stuff cleared within that 24-hour window. Okay, so right here I'm going to do a pathway out to the street. It's going to serve two purposes. One, it's going to get out, get access to the street if you have a vehicle parked on here. But also, more importantly, we're going to carve out a spot to put our trash and recycling. Uh, I've seen people in the city stack up a big snow bank, throw the, snow, throw the uh, trash and recycling up top, and it's just not right. It's not, uh, it doesn't make it easy, and it's also prohibited. So what we're going to do is carve a nice path out 
replace our trash and recycling. So we're gonna get right out here. We're gonna get right in the street. Now just be careful. You wanna obviously make sure there's no cars coming or anything. That's a real, real danger because you get in caught up, especially when snowblowers are running loud. You can't hear vehicles coming by, so you always wanna be aware of your surroundings. So I'm gonna get in here and I'm gonna I'm gonna carve a real good path in here because you gotta figure if your DP or if your um, guys from uh, the trash and recycling are coming in to pick it up, they're going over this bank of snow too. So you don't want them to hurt themselves. So it's best to give a nice path, clear it out, nobody will get injured. Okay, that's pretty good. And uh, we also wanted to note, again, we do have folks that are elderly or disabled or aren't able to do this kind of work. So uh, the city of Malden has done the work of getting authorized snow removal contractors, which are listed on our website at www.cityofmalden.org. Those contractors uh, have been quarried and vetted and uh, they are responsible, good people that are willing to come out here for a fee and remove the snow for you. Some are just shoveling only and some are also plow contractors. So again, if you really feel uncertain about your ability to remove snow, you really should get uh, on the, the city's website and, uh, and find out one of those authorized contractors. Also, if you don't have access to the web, you can always uh, call us at 781-397-7000 and uh, we can answer that question for you, hook you up with a contractor.